As I've mentioned to everybody recently, Justice Democrats is doing a grassroots fundraising drive this month, and we're attempting to raise $500,000 for our candidates. And, I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We're at an unfortunate disadvantage when it comes to the money because our opponents can raise money from corporations and PACs and billionaires. Now, we refuse to do that, and we refuse to do that because, in our estimation, that's the only way to get principled politicians. Uh, it just so happens that when politicians take money from corporations, PACs, and billionaires, they end up doing their bidding. And they end up uh, snubbing their voters, their constituents. And that is them turning their back on what their only job is. Your only job is to represent the people. And unfortunately, in the Republican Party and the Democratic Party, most of the politicians have turned their back on the people. So we've decided uh, we want to run candidates who take no corporate money, no PAC money, no billionaire money. Uh, but even though we're at an advantage in terms of our ideas, because our ideas, if you look at the polling, the American people agree with us, uh, we're at a disadvantage in terms of getting our message out because it's harder for us to raise money and therefore harder for us to, to set up the infrastructure and to run ads and things of that nature. So um, that's where you guys come in. That's where you guys have stepped up. Now, I mentioned again, I mentioned this before where we're trying to raise $500,000 for our candidates, for Justice Democrat uh, candidates. Um, I'm taking at not, a, not a dime of it. Uh, Jank Uger, who's a co-founder along with me, not taking a dime of it. And Shoykat Chakrabarti, Zach Exley, former top Bernie Sanders campaign officials who are also co-founders with us, same thing. We're all doing this because we believe in the, uh, the message, we believe in the ideas, we think we can get principled politicians elected, we just need to give people the option. When you give them the option, they jump at it. Look at what happened with Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders was able to raise a tremendous amount of money, but $27 at a time, all from uh, small money donors. So, and then, of course, without the DNC fuckery, probably would have done a little bit better and gotten the nomination, and then hashtag Bernie would have won. I'll leave that one there, but I think you guys get the point. So, um, we need you, and you've largely stepped up, but the reality is we ain't there yet, and we're running against powerhouses, behemoths in the Democratic Party. We have corporate Joe Manchin, who, again, he's just... He's just Republican light. I mean, that's what he is. <laughs> I mean, you look at his voting record. He's voted more with Trump than he's voted against Trump. Just learned the other day, uh, Joe Manchin was one of five Democrats who voted to arm Saudi Arabia to the tune of $110 billion. Very progressive of you, Joe. He, all he does is represent the corporations and vote with Republicans. So we got to get rid of this guy. But he could just go to a few donors and they can fund his whole campaign because he's a giant sellout. Again, we don't do that. Uh, we want individual donations, small donations. There's a legal cap on our donations at $2,700. But look, truth be told, we don't even want that. We want, you know, $27 at a time. Uh, so we're launching this new initiative uh, at Secular Talk. Usually what we do once a year or thereabouts is we do a, a Secular Talk t-shirt drive and we give 50% of the proceeds to Wolfpack. Wolfpack, of course, being the, the movement to get money out of politics. Uh, well, this year, we're doing 50% to Justice Democrats. Now, again, usually it's 50% Wolfpack, and then the other 50% goes to Secular Talk's very own Lilith Penn. This year, we're doing 50% uh, Justice Democrats. And... Understand this is limited time, so some of you might know this if you've been listening to the show for a long time, but I'm not, I'm not big on the whole merchandise thing. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like an extra headache and a thing I got to think about, and I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't care, I don't want to do it really, if I'm being honest. But um, if we do it just once a year, you know, it's whatever, but that also kind of makes these a little bit more special in that... We, we aren't like other shows or other outlets in that way. Hey, hey, all year round, you go ahead and you buy it. It's, it's limited time. And we mean that. Limited, limited time. Uh, so if you go to booster.com slash secular talk shirts, uh, you guys can take a look at what we have over there. 
we have two new designs. Well, it's one design, but two different colors. <gasps> what? <laughs> Everybody who who listens to the show on a regular basis knows I've kind of been I'm married to the secular talk colors that like bright neon limeish green with black. Degeneration X colors. I think that's where I got it from, from WWE slash WWF from back in the day. Uh, but hey, look behind me now. When we do special announcements, we do we do blue lighting. Um, so why not throw a blue shirt in there too? Same colors. Uh, well, not same colors. Different colors, but th the blue, same kind of format, and the the black and the neon color. Um, so now we have uh, two options. And by the way, thank you, Jason. Jason created uh, this design, and he did a fantastic job. I believe we have the option of the the old school shirts too. You have the first generation secular talk shirt, the second generation secular talk shirt. Now you have the new ones. Um, three different designs, so you can pick whatever one you like the most. No, the older shirts do not have the option of the blue. It's just the newer one that has the option of the blue. Um, you have men's shirts, women's shirts, and hoodies. Uh, I know I'll be getting these. By the way, I'm not even sure how much they cost. <laughs> I probably should have looked into that before doing this segment here, but whatever it happens to be, I don't know. But half of it, you guys can see it. It's right there on the website, booster.com slash secular talk shirts. Um, half the money goes to Justice Democrats. So uh, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this, you know, and... This means if you were to purchase one of these shirts, not only are you getting a cool shirt, uh, again, I'll be getting some and I'll be wearing it on air. And for the record, I'm paying like everybody else is. <laughs> uh, I, it, I'm not like, oh, he gets it free because it's his shirt. No, I'm paying for like everybody else does. And what we're going to do is half the money goes towards candidates who want to get money out of politics. So again, we usually give it to Wolfpack. This is like vote, you know, giving the money to candidates who are for Wolfpack and a constitutional amendment to get money out of politics, and for every avenue of getting money out of politics. And they're walking the walk also, not just talking the talk, because they're not taking corporate money, PAC money, and billionaire money. This is for candidates who want to re-regulate Wall Street, end corporate tax dodging. By the way, $450 billion a year dodged in taxes by corporations. And that burden is shifted onto the middle class because the corporations are dodging their taxes. Candidates who are for Medicare for all, free college, living wage, ending the wars and the drug war, do a new New Deal to upgrade our infrastructure. Right now it's, it gets a grade of D+. Uh, we want to stop outsourcing. No more NAFTA, no more permanent normal trade relations with China, CAFTA. TPP, we don't want it to come back from, from the dead like a zombie. Our candidates will fight against stuff like this, fight against NSA spying, do a green technology revolution, um, stop arming Saudi Arabia, you know, stuff like that. Another thing that I don't bring up enough that I should bring up more, our candidates are for paid vacation, sick leave, and family leave. You know, the U.S. is the only modern nation that doesn't have paid time off by law. We don't have it. We don't have paid time off by law. Every other modern nation has paid time off by law. Why are the Democrats not screaming about this? Well, our candidates are. These are the things that our candidates are for. By the way, if you want a full breakdown, uh, you go to justicedemocrats.com slash platform. You read our platform, you see what our candidates are about. You can read about our individual candidates who we've, who we've launched so far. And, um, you know, a donation would be greatly appreciated. If you, just, if you don't want the shirt and you just want to donate, please, by all means. I know a lot of you have donated already to, to, to Justice Democrats. And we love you for it, and we need it. We need small money donors from regular people. Um, but now, if you want to donate and get a little something out of it, you want to get a, you want to get a shirt... Half the proceeds for this going to go to uh, Justice Democrats. So it's booster.com slash secular talk shirts, booster.com slash secular talk shirts. Limited time. I believe we have 26 days. If you're watching this on the day this is released on YouTube, I believe it's 26 days. So go to work, y'all. Go to work. Booster.com slash secular talk shirts. Uh, I will be getting mine because I love the shirts, clearly. And, um... Because we're supporting a good cause. Think about it. 
Getting rid of Joe Manchin. Oh, how wonderful would that be? Getting rid of corporate Joe Crowley. Or excuse me, corrupt Joe Crowley. Corporate Joe Manchin. That's that's who has the name Corporate Joe. Um, corrupt Joe Crowley is a politician who... He left during a debate on Wall Street regulation to go fundraise from Wall Street. Then he came back when it was time for the vote and he voted against Wall Street regulation. <laughs> These guys are unbelievable. They're unbelievable. Well, we have Alex Ocasio-Cortez, uh, a true liberal, true progressive who's going to fight for all the right issues, running against corrupt Joe Crowley. He's just such a mess. A mess. Sad. Uh, and, of course, Paula Swearingen, the great Paula Swearingen running against Joe Manchin. Uh, if anybody can get the job done, it's those two. Not to mention all of our other fantastic candidates, Cori Bush. So, go read about our candidates, go read our platform, and uh, support the movement however you can. It'd be greatly appreciated. And just as a, as a final point on this, I think the way that these drives work, because we've done it, uh, a few times before, and I think we used we used the same uh, company in doing it. So when you order your shirt, they don't ship them out until the end of the drive, and then they ship them all out. So it, like if you were to go today and get one, then when the drive ends in 26 days, that's when they fulfill all the orders and ship all the shirts out. So don't freak out if uh, don't freak out. I sound like Jimmy Dore. Uh, don't freak out if you order it. And, you know, you don't get it in like a week and you're like, hey, what happened here? This is weird. I'm pretty sure the way it works is you, you order it now or you order it whenever within the next 26 days. And then when the drive ends, obviously you can't, nobody can get any more shirts. That's it. It's shut down. Uh, and, but that's when they ship them all out. So that's just one more final note I want to give because I'm not sure. Last time I think there were a few questions. People were like, hey, wait, I didn't get my shirt yet. Because I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. You got to give it that until the drive is over and then they ship everything out.